Hey everyone, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sandy and I love to cook. But today what we're doing is something extremely exciting and we are just, I don't even know what to say about it. I have a lot of family that has came up and to visit for the weekend. So my cousin Brenda is going to share her recipe for chili soup. Um, I, we have a lot of family here and you're going to get to see every single one of them. They're all over there just whispering, but they're all going to be on camera. But this is Brenda and say hello. Make her, make her feel welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so why don't you tell us what you're going to do and tell us a little bit of background about it. And Okay. Um, this is an old family recipe. If if you're watching the kitchen with Sandy, and if you're not, you should be. <laughs> That's because right. You're missing some good recipes. But she talks all the time about coming to Kentucky when she was a little girl. And she talks about visiting Mama, and she talks about visiting with us and playing outside and all that. But this was our grandmother's recipe, and it's called a chili soup. And then the recipe has been passed down, and my mom used to make it for us for Christmas Eve every year so i'm going to show you how to make it today so uh, let's get started let's get started let's right. get started you're going to need three cans we use armor chili you can use whatever you like whatever brand you like we've got two cans with beans i mean two cans without beans one can with beans if you don't like beans you don't have to use it as sandy says you do you so <laughs> So whatever you, this is just the regular size. We're just going to put these in the can. Is she going to run off and leave me? No, I'm not. Just keep going. <laughs> Three cans of chili. Um, put them in the pot. All right, let's get a closer look. Okay. Three cans of chili. You're going to need uh, one can of peas drained. This is just the the great value brand, just throw them in. You're gonna need a can of whole kernel corn drained. Throw that in. Let's get a look at that in there. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna need a big tall can of tomato juice. Just pour it in, can you see? Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Then we're gonna get some, uh, about three fourths of a can of water. And you said that um, she always made it at for Christmas Eve. For Christmas Eve, every year this was what go. we did for Christmas Eve. Okay, give it a good stir, and then we'll, we're we're going to throw in uh, one big old onion that we diced up. Oh, that's a big one! That's I love onions. One. Yeah, makes it good. And then we're going to throw in some chopped up potatoes. Like a done too many, we're just gonna put this. That's all, all right. And, Never uh, too many. You're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Let me get the salt here. Just throw it in however you like. If you don't want salt, because sometimes this chili is a little salty. If you don't want to add salt, you don't have to. Some black pepper, how much ever you like. You can add uh, tomatoes if you don't want to use tomato juice. You can use chopped tomatoes. Um, or tomato, a combination tomato juice and tomato juice. You can do whatever you like. And once it gets done, once the potatoes get almost done, we're going to throw in about a cup of so or so of elbow macaroni. Once the potatoes get almost done. So let's turn it on. I should do that first. Well, you talk about comfort meal. Yeah, party meal. It's really good with a grilled cheese sandwich grilled cheese sandwich. It is, um, you know, becoming cold weather, so this is definitely going to hit the spot. Oh, yeah. You just put the lid on, let it cook until the potatoes get almost done, and then we'll add the macaroni. Then you add the macaroni in. Mm. Yeah. Here's a pot we've got already Yeah, made. she's already made a pot of it. Let's stir it up and let's see. See what it looks like. Yeah, look at that. Look how yeah. hearty that looks. And it, I'm telling you, let me tell you, it smells absolutely amazing. So, like I said, you can add green chilies, you can add whatever you like. But this is just the way that my mom made it. And our grandmother made it. I want to show everybody. So, Mama used to make this too. She used to make it too. Mm. Yeah, she did. 
So we're just gonna let it cook. Yeah. We'll come back when it's about done, throw the macaroni in, and we'll taste it. Be ready to eat. Yeah. Oh. Well, Donna's got cornbread in the oven, so it's really, really good with cornbread or mm -hmm. crackers. Mm -hmm. We want to have ham sliders. We want to have chicken salad croissants, ham salad croissants. So we've got tons of dessert. And Aunt Gail over there made homemade fudge. Show Aunt Gail. Hi, Aunt Gail. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all know her. Y'all know that bug. <laughs> and that's Cecilia back there. It's my cousin Cecilia. Donna's pretend like she the. Now I'm trying to find your salsa. <laughs> She's trying to find my salsa. But what we're um, doing is they all come up for your cock guide. They all come up for the weekend, and um, Gail's husband's in there playing pool with my cousin um, Greg. That I, I swear I haven't seen him in. Yeah, Gosh, Susie, since I was a little high. girl, since yeah. I was a little girl. Um, but it's so exciting, and um, we're just having a ball. We're having a ball. I'm getting ready to start on my ham um, sliders, and Dawn's got cornbread in the oven, like she said. So I'm just gonna let the camera roll, and you guys can just get a um, kind of feel of. My family. Yeah. Give me the recipe for cornbread salad. I'm more silk too. Oh, you know what? When she pulls her. Are you gonna tell them what you're making there? This is already on my channel. If you want this, it's it's already on there. I'm making the ham and um, ham and cheese sliders. I also caramelized some onions to put on it. Today I'm doing two different ones. I'm doing the smoked cheddar and then um, the provolone. So I thought um, the sauteed onions would be perfect. Perfect. Be like eating a little sub or something with it. So, oh, and I want you to look at this. Look at the bracelet that. Brenda made me. Look how pretty that is. I got it on. I love it. What did you make your um, cornbread on? Uh, about 400. So once um, I get these together, I'll just sit down and talk about three of Sandy's 
soy sauce. Now you'll have to let them know how that sauce is. Now that you use it, you just put a little sesame oil. There, I think I should put more in there. I should probably put more on there. I mean, because look how thin that is. so strong. You like that? You don't want to really cook it. Let me just get that right while I put it. Put it when I like some in it. It's very nice. It's delicious. Egg roll is so good. I'll give you a little bit of this. Because you love your cabbage. You can cook it. But I don't want me to cut the onions off. I don't want 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 to cut the onions off. You, you want the onions on there? Sure. You want them on there? Okay. Because I caramelized some onions. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, that was a good And then I got smoked cheddar for the other ones. Uh, okay, Donna, here. I'm going to stop what I'm doing. Donna, here, I want you to pan over here and look. Look at her table. Oh, you would want to get I thought you said do it. No, I said. Go ahead and get the table because I'm going to sit down and they might think I'm the witch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister. She's just, she's just camera shy. But I want you to look at all of her decorations. And there's the cake over there that my sister made. Look at all of her decorations. See how pretty it is? Everything is so pretty. All right, so now. No, the almond slippers. Mm -hmm. You put it in the almond slippers. Oh, okay. I've never used a sesame seed. Yeah. There is a little iron. There's one. I need a spoon here. Oh, we need a spoon in that salsa. That was the last thing I was here. Put a spoon in it. So, so what is this? That is uh, mayonnaise and Dijon mustard. Oh, I know. Did you buy that? Or did you make no, it? I didn't. Mean, just mayonnaise and then just put it. Brenda, it's cornbread brown. I like that. And Sandy, 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 she knows who the fudge that she made. It is chocolate with peanut butter in it. Mm -hmm. Did you show her my cake? <laughs> oh, here she comes with her cake. Bring it, on over. Her cake. Bring it on over here. Look at her cake. That thing, that don't even look real. It's picture perfect. Look at that. We've got hot there um, goes our dots today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And now you're mm. <laughs> Yes, I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. <laughs> twin twisters. Twin, twin twisters. Twin twisters. All right, what are we doing now? Okay, see how thick it's got? The potatoes are just about done. They're, they're almost four tender. So we're gonna throw some macaroni in. I don't measure. It's probably a cup or so, just pour it in there. And once you pour that macaroni in, you need to kind of stir it a little bit every now and then, because it will stick to the bottom and you don't need that. Yeah. Once that macaroni gets done, it's ready to put you a big bowl and chow it. You got homemade cornbread too. Look yes. And then I also have some, well, you see me making those, the sliders in the oven there. Oh my yeah. gosh. Those are just about done. And we are ready to eat. You bet. I think everybody's hungry. We are. We're starved. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. I want you to look at this. Look how delicious these look. They always. And I can't wait. They always turn out so good. If you haven't made these, you need to make them. And they're so versatile. You could put anything on them. I've made roast beef before. Um, you could do turkey. You could do like any type of sandwich you could make. You could make into a slider. All right. Brenda's going to do a taste test for you. I want you to taste too. We're gonna do a taste test. We're gonna do the, the bowl that's already cool. Put some cornbread. Um, I'll, I'll taste it without the cornbread first. There you go. Oh, it smells really good. I don't want to burn my lips. <laughs> that's all right. I always burn mine. Oh, yeah, that is good. Isn't that a good? Isn't that amazing? Oh. I mean, doggone, that's easy to make. I know. 
it's so good and yeah, hearty. And it's do you still make it? Oh, yeah. Do you really? All right, I'm gonna do a taste test for you, even though I already tasted it. But this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. It's so hot too. Bruce, there's my phone again. It is hot. <laughs> he probably heard me talking about mm. it. He loves saying Yeah, he does. He's Man. That so is so good. So, so good. good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta, you gotta try to, this. You gotta try this. We need to put a bag of that shredded cheese in a bowl. To go in. Well, these family bank family members that have all gathered and thank you for the love that you share with each other. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for your son that you gave to God on Calvary for us. We'll never forget to give you the praise. We know everything good and good perfect comes from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, grab it and growl. I can grab it. Grab it and growl. All right, guys. I hope you like um, this video. I hope you love this recipe. It's trust me, it's amazing. And I hope you love my cousin, my cousin Brenda, and all my other family. You know I love you guys very much. We love you so very much. Listen, like, share, and comment on this video, and watch her because she's really got some really great great recipes. Hope we do this next year. That's right. That's right. Love you too. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.